The Yellowstone caldera is a sleeping giant that will wreak havoc when it awakens from its slumber. The good news is that the supervolcano is not too late to erupt, despite what you may have read online. The bad news is that volcanic activity is very difficult to predict and eruptions do not follow a predictable schedule. The Yellowstone Caldera is a 70 by 45 kilometer crater located in northwestern Wyoming, containing hot springs, geyser basins, and other signs of hydrothermal activity. Beneath this vast caldera are two large magma chambers that are threatening to explode, spewing lava and ash throughout the surrounding area. Yellowstone has a reappearance interval of about 600,000 to 800,000 years, with an average of about 725,000 years between eruptions. Since the last major eruption occurred 631,000 years ago, it can be concluded that the Yellowstone supervolcano will erupt again. However, this is misleading because the volcano does not operate according to a regular schedule such as working hours. Additionally, many scientists think that the supervolcano in Yellowstone does not have the power necessary to produce another powerful eruption. The rhyolite magma chamber beneath Yellowstone contains only 5-15% to fluid so there may not be enough magma beneath the caldera to trigger an eruption. It's also possible that Yellowstone would have had little activity without destroying North America and beyond. About 70,000 years ago, a rhyolitic lava flow erupted from a supervolcano. While this changed the geology of Yellowstone National Park to the southwest, it did not have much of a negative impact on life on the planet. Even so, anything is possible. The surrounding geological layers could collapse or the volcanic chamber could receive an injection of new magma, thus reviving the animals from below. If a major eruption occurred today in Yellowstone, the impact would be felt around the world. Much of Montana, Idaho and Wyoming will be covered in pyroclastic flows of hot gas and volcanic material. Estimates vary, but some estimate it could cause the deaths of up to 90,000 people in an instant. Volcanic ash covered much of western North America. Within a few hundred kilometers of Yellowstone, this layer of ash was likely a foot deep. The latest models show that an area of about 80 kilometers, 50 miles, around the hole will be covered by up to 3 meters, about 10 feet, of ash in just a few days. Relatively close locations such as Salt Lake City would be buried under ash up to 1 meter, 3.3 feet, deep. In fact, most of the American continent from Florida to New England will also be hit by a small amount of dust from volcanic debris. One of the biggest problems is ash being carried across the planet and into the stratosphere, blocking sunlight. Temperatures will drop and sunlight levels will decrease, causing ecosystem collapse, food shortages, and famine. When a large, super-eruption, occurred at the volcano that is now on Lake Toba in Sumatra, Indonesia. Some researchers believe that the eruption was so powerful that it reduced the human population to less than 10,000 people, creating a genetic bottleneck in what is known as the Toba disaster theory. There are also those who argue that the impact on the human population is not too severe. But what is clear is that super eruptions have a big impact on the planet. In today's world, home to more than 8 billion people, the scale of human suffering would be greater if a supervolcano erupted.